Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. A little late today, but, you know, always on schedule, never on time. But today, I'm doing one of my favorites. Uh, chicken breast can always be a little suspect. A lot of people say they get too dry, whatever the case may be. So a lot of people like to stuff them. And I'm going to do a cheesy stuffed chicken breast live right here on TikTok. If you're watching the replay, excuse me, if you're watching the replay live on YouTube, it's all good. You can hit fast forward, rewind, whatever. But if you're joining me here live on TikTok this afternoon, this morning, let me know where you're watching from. I don't like cooking for strangers. So let me know where you tuned in from. I'm live out here in Texas right now, but let me know where you're watching from so we can go ahead and get this thing going. Uh, if you tuned in or just tuning in, I'm doing a cheesy stuffed chicken breast. I'm about to go over the ingredients list. Everything's all natural and it's so easy. You can do it. Illinois, I see you. South Carolina, I see you. New Mexico, I see you. If you're just now tuning in and live, let me know where you're watching from on this Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, wherever you're tuning in from. Shout out to all my people overseas, like Scott Garth 360 in Australia. Good day, mate. Connecticut, what's going on? Big Daddy DJ. Everybody that's tuned in, just now tuning in. I'm about to go over the, these ingredients for this cheesy stuffed chicken breast. H-Town, that's where I'm at. Shout out to you, Dana. Lansing, Michigan. What up, though? So to start off, of course, we're going to have to have a chicken breast, okay? This is the first things first, of course. And then I said cheesy, right? So I'm using some fresh mozzarella cheese. And then I'm going to also step up with some veggies. I got some red onion here. I got some red and green bell peppers as well. And then I also got a little spinach to bring it all together, too, all right? So with all that being said, this is a cheesy stuffed chicken breast. So the star is gonna be, of course, this mozzarella cheese right here. And then to bring it all together, I'm gonna to be using my straight drop rub, okay? All purpose rub, you can get this at uncledibs.com. And just for you guys on this live today, watching live right now, wherever you're watching from, Australia, New York, Connecticut, wherever, you can get this seasoning plus all my other seasonings for free same day shipping means it will go out to you today. Same day shipping, use the code SHIP NOW, all caps, one word, S H I P N O W, at checkout for free same day shipping, all right? Including this straight drop rub, all right? So to start everything off, I'm gonna get these veggies chopped up and diced because, like I said, we are gonna stuff this with a Couple vegetables, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. Doing a cheesy stuffed chicken breast. If you just now tuned in, I just went over the, all the ingredients list. So you, you're here just in time because I'm gonna show you how to do this from start to finish, okay? So first things first, I got my cast iron skillet. I got it on about medium right now. So you can just have that already doing its thing while you cut some of these veggies up. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this onion. I'm using red onion, but you can use whatever onion you like. I just think for a presentation's sake, red onion definitely looks the best with this. You know what I mean? I like cooking with colors and everything like that. So red onion does the job for me. I'm just probably gonna just use um, a fourth of the onion. So, you know, just quarter it. <clears throat> and the next thing you know, all you gotta do is peel some of that skin off. And then we're just gonna slice some nice little dice strips just like this, okay? And all of this is gonna go to the same place, so you know, it, ain't, it don't even gotta be um, pretty or anything like that because it's all going to the same place. So just to show you all what it looks like, just like this, okay? Just like that, all right? Just set that to the side. <clears throat> I'm also gonna do the same thing to my red bell pepper. Just now tuning in, I'm doing a cheesy stuffed chicken breast, stuffed with some veggies as well. So I'm cutting the veggies right now. Uh, you don't have to worry about missing anything because you're here right at the beginning. So you came just in time. If you just now tuned in, let me know where you're watching from. I don't like cooking for strangers. I don't like cooking for people I don't know. Um, but 
you can just leave a comment telling me where you're watching from, where you're tuned in from. I've probably been there. Someone said they were watching from Australia. I've actually been to Australia. I went to Perth and Brisbane and Melbourne and Sydney, and I cannot wait to get back. So wherever you're tuned in from, let me know where you're watching from. Chicago, Chi-Town, what it do? Louisiana, Williamsburg, Texas. I'm in Texas. Liverpool, England. Melbourne, I see you. I see you. Grand Prairie, Michigan. We got an international audience today. No matter where you're from, you too can do this dish. Everyone's got chicken breast wherever you're at. Everyone's got vegetables wherever you're at. This is what the chopped red pepper looks like. Kansas City, I see you. Detroit, a lot of Detroit people in here. What up, though, Detroit? So also, if you're just now tuning in to this live, something very special just for people watching this live. If you're watching the replay, I'm sorry you didn't catch the live, but if, you're, if you are here live right now on this Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, depending on where you're at, you can use the code for my free, excuse me, for free shipping, free same day shipping. Use the code SHIP now to get my all natural seasonings and you don't, I'll take care of the shipping and I'll drop it off and send it to you today. Even if you're in Australia, just go to UncleDibs.com. The link is in my bio and use that code SHIP now for free shipping. Peppers right here. North Carolina, I see you. Wisconsin, I see you. Lincoln, Nebraska. Bakersfield, California. West Coast in the building. Where are my Texas people at? I know, I know my Texas people watching. Where y'all at? All right, so I got my veggies here. I got my onion. I got my peppers. Spinach. This is just fresh baby spinach. You don't got to chop it. All right, so I'm just keeping this right here. GA, Oklahoma, VA. What it do? What it do? Y'all, good morning. Good afternoon. Also, I have a little bit of garlic here that I'm just going to go ahead and smash to smithereens because I love garlic. Anybody else like cooking with garlic? Because garlic, it just, it just makes that, it just brings everything together. I love the smell. I love the smell. So if you're just not tuned in, let me know where you're tuned in from. I'm making my cheesy stuffed chicken breast. You can get this recipe also at UncleDibs.com. I have plenty of other recipes there as well. And while you're there, stop and get some seasonings. Use the code SHIP now for free same-day shipping. All right, so I got my cast iron skillet right over here on medium heat. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil, and then this is my secret. I like to add a little bit of butter right on top of that, okay? So I'm going to let that melt and combine. Can y'all hear that sizzle? AZ, good morning. Matter of fact, Scott, I appreciate the help. Ship now is actually in all caps, but Scott, I'm going to make you a, uh, I'm going to make you a moderator, Scott, if that's cool with you because you definitely are helping me out while i am got my hands full. Anybody else want to be a moderator? I just need, need y'all to let people know what I'm cooking and what the code is, because sometimes I'm gonna to have to be keeping my eyes on this skillet. All right, so now I'm just gonna add my garlic right in there. And if you know anything about that garlic, it goes great with those red onions. Boom, just like that. Everything going super, super, super smooth right now. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. You had a safe Friday night, and I hope that you eat good this weekend. Ship now, all caps are ship now. Am I doing a restaurant in Cali? Should I come out to Cali, y'all? I get a lot of people DMing me about coming out to Cali. What y'all ain't got no good food in Cali? I know y'all got some good food out there. I know anytime I'm in L LA or the Bay, I always eat good. Anytime I'm in LA, I always get Leo's taco truck. Always hits the spot. Peppers. Throwing those peppers right in there too as well. Continue to mix that up. Smelling super fragrant. Super, super, super special. Super great. And then I'm going to throw that spinach right on top of that and just have this wilt, all right? Someone said they're looking for their TikTok girlfriend. You looking for girlfriends on TikTok, man? <clears throat> Gotta get out there in the field, bro. So I'm cooking a stuffed, cheesy chicken breast, all right? 
This right here is so simple. Even a caveman can do it. Even I can do it, all right? So everything's going to come together with this mixture of spinach, veggies, onions, garlic. I'm going to season it right here with this straight drop rub, which you can get my all-natural seasoning from UncleDibs.com. And while that's cooking, we can't have a cheesy chicken breast without chicken. If you're not eating meat, I feel you. I'm going vegetarian next week for a week. I'm taking a break off of all the steaks and all that too. So with this chicken breast, all right, so everything's cleaned, everything's good. All right, Scott, if you're gonna do be my moderator, man, you gotta let people know exactly what it is. It's ship now, one word, for free same day shipping, all right? So use that code, ship now, one word, for free same day shipping. ATL, I see you. The spiritual, I appreciate that. I'm gonna do some veggie meals. If you have something specifically you wanna see on the vegetarian side of the game, let me know, I'm gonna cook it next week, all right? All right, so I got my chicken breast. All I'm gonna do is just cut a little pocket so we can take this stuffing and stuff it in the chicken breast. So this is a pretty, pretty big breast, so I'm not concerned that I'm not gonna have not enough space, but all you're gonna do is just cut, you're gonna, you're gonna use the, the cutting board in your hand just to kinda not cut all the way through, but you just want a little pocket just like that, okay? Just a little pocket just like that. So I'm gonna lay that flat. Continue to mix these veggies over here, let these cook. And I'm cooking over a nice medium, medium low heat right now, so nothing too crazy. I don't like to overcook my veggies because I still like to like for them to have that crunch. You know, those nutrients are still in there. When you overcook your veggies, you pull out all those nutrients. You know what I mean? You still want your veggies to have a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a pop when you bite into them. That lets you know that they're still working for you, okay? But when you overcook them, you're not getting the, the nutrients that you really need. That's why it's good to, you know, kind of take it easy on them. You know what I mean? They've been through enough just to get to your kitchen. Just kind of take it easy on them, all right? So as that's coming together, dropping a little bit of spinach, but it's all good. As that's coming together, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season up that veggie mixture with my all-purpose straight drop rub. And like I said, you can get this seasoning at UncleDibs.com and get free same day shipping. It means it'll go out today. Use the code SHIP now at checkout. So this all-purpose seasoning is gonna, I'm gonna use it on the veggies. No preservatives, no metals, no nothing. And I'm also gonna use it a little bit on my chicken too as well. So I'm just gonna season up the inside of that chicken just like that and let that chill right there. Now while all that's going on, I'm gonna shred up a little mozzarella cheese. And let me know what your favorite cheese is too. I'm using mozzarella for this. The site is UncleDibs.com. The link is in my bio. Just hit my, right up there where you see my name. Just hit that and the link that's in the bio, just click that or just go to UncleDibs.com or Google Uncle Dibs and it'll take you right to the site. Super simple, all right? And then all you gotta do is add whatever to your cart and put that code. Please use that code, y'all. Ship now for free same day shipping so I can get you this seasoning ASAP. And if you're in the Texas area or Houston area, you might even get it today because I got it like that with USPS, okay? So as you guys see, that veggie mixture is coming together right now. Some people say they're like sharp cheddar parma and feta. You a cheeseaholic right there. Gouda, what other cheese do you like? Kathy really loves Gouda. 30 days plant-based, does wonders for the health. I'm on day 20, good for you, girl. Good for you, you're doing good, you're doing a good job. And even if you are doing plant-based, these are all plant-based seasonings. So with that being said, go ahead and use all natural seasonings. You can't cook and eat all natural and then be seasoning your food with, with metals and chemicals and things like that. People should really look and see what's in some of that, uh, some of those seasonings that they're using in a home. And I know we don't know no better, but read those labels and you'll see exactly what's going in there. It's not good for you. All right, so right here, just a little cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna take that and shred it right over the veggie mixture, just to start the beginning, the melting process. If you wanna use the cheese that's already grated, that's fine, but I'm gonna let you on a little secret right here. Using cheese that isn't already grated, meaning whole cheese, 
it has a better melt melting rate like that cheese that's already been shredded for you it doesn't melt right you know what i mean so take the time i know it's a little bit of, of extra step or whatever the case might be i get it some people just want a quick meal i get it but if you can do it yourself all right i always feel like the less people that have to handle or touch your food the better you know what i mean so if there's so much processing that's going with it you know you, you never know what, really what you're getting and then they got to put a whole bunch of preservatives in there just to keep it fresh so just buy you know go over there by the cheese stand you know get out that uh get out that freezer aisle go over there by the butcher where all the you know the craft breads are and cheeses and stuff like that and i'm telling you you're gonna end up finding yourself with a really 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 nice final product anytime you're using cheese all right that could go for any cheese cheddar whatever okay i'm not gonna act like i'm holier than thou i still use the other stuff every now and then too but if you can do it all right so as you guys can see right here, I got the filling, cheesy spinach, peppers, onions, all in there. And now I'm just gonna remove that. I'm gonna turn up the heat because we're gonna sear this chicken. But now I'm just gonna remove that filling from the cast iron skillet. It's super cheesy, as you guys already see. Just get all those veggies out. And this is the perfect amount if you have two breasts, but I'm only working with one. I'm working with one big breast, big chicken breast, that is, today. But this is definitely going to be enough to fill it up the way we need, okay? So all I did, that took, what, what maybe five, ten minutes. Nothing too crazy. So I'm just going to sit this to the side. This is my filling for the chicken, okay? So I got my chicken breast right here. I see you guys got some questions. Stand by, let me just go ahead and get this in the skillet and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oven needs to also be at 425. That's, that's where we're gonna bake it at, just to finish everything off. So I got my chicken breast right here. All I'm gonna do is just take that veggie filling and stuff it right in the breast, okay? So that cheese, those peppers, those onions, all that is going right into that breast. So this is a perfect keto meal, if you're doing a keto diet or a low carb diet, this is perfect for that, all right? This is definitely no harm, no foul, and you'll still feel full, and like you had a great meal at the end of this, okay? So I try to stuff it as much as possible. All this may or may not fit. Let me grab another glove. Uh, you gonna do cheese when you do veggie meals? Um, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do cheese. I'm definitely going to throw in a little cheese in there, all right? But if you have any, any other ideas or things you want to see, let me know. All right, so this is the fun part. We're going to wrap this gift right now. So I like to pack it in nice and tight. Then I'm just going to fold it over on itself. If something spills out, don't worry about it, all right? That's why we overstuff it, just in case anything doesn't make it in there. It's all good. we got enough to fill it up. And so to seal this, what you're going to need to do is grab you some toothpicks. Now, I forgot to get toothpicks, so all I did was take some bamboo skewers and just break them off, all right? But you're going to need some toothpicks for this to seal it, all right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this cut side up just like this. And then I'm just going to seal it, almost like I'm stitching together a patient, you know what I mean? So just take a couple edges, it might take, depending on how big the breast is, it might take two, it might take three. But either way, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product here in a minute. I know it's hard to see from far away. Wait till I get my Food Network so I'm, I'm gonna have all the angles. The angles are gonna be off the chain, all right? So this is a three toothpick one right here, y'all. Cause this is a big old Texas size chicken breast, all right? So this is what it looks like, y'all. Just like that, okay? But we're not done. So I'm gonna take that chicken breast, because we, we definitely like to season our meats over here, and I'm just gonna season just like that. And I'm gonna throw this right in the skillet. 
And then when it's in the skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side, all right? So boom, just like that, right in the skillet. And then I'm just gonna take a little seasoning of that straight drop rub and put it on the other side. So this chicken breast was a little weird. It had a little pocket on the end of it, I mean on the other side of it. So it's not completely shut on the other side that somebody left the door open. But either way, we're still gonna get what we came for, all right? So this seasoning, like I said, one seasoning only I used on this was that straight drop rub, okay? You can get this at UncleDibs.com, use the code SHIP now for free same day shipping. All right, so just to recap, if you're just now joining us, the veggies were red and green bell pepper, red onion, um, and baby spinach. I also put a little bit of mozzarella cheese in there, grated mozzarella cheese. I cooked that down right here in this skillet. I opened up my chicken breast, put it in there, put all that stuffing in there, and the next thing you know, I closed the door, seasoned it, and now I'm searing it right here in this cast iron skillet over about like medium high heat. I'm just gonna do about fit, about five minutes per side. Oh yeah, garlic too, thank you. Uh, what is that, man delicious? I hope I said that right. Yes, I do do plant-based meals. I actually have a really great recipe for uh, some roasted tomato basil soup. It's one of my most viral videos on TikTok. You can actually find it on my site, the whole recipe at UncleDibs.com, all right? So I'm actually doing all plant-based, well, really not plant-based, but veggie next week. I did a lot of barbecue over the summer, and I'm just going in because August is my birthday month, so I like to ride into that thing smooth. Shout out to all my Leos. I think Leo season has started today. Put your horoscope, put your, put your sign. Where are, my, where are my Leos at? Where are my Virgos, my Cancers at? Put your sign in there, put your sign in there. You know, Leos are the best. Got some Geminis in here. Oh, uh oh. Leo Gain, I see you, Independence. Loco, I see you, Virgos. See all my Leos in here Aquarius, Scorpios, Taurus. What sign is the best cook, though? All right. What sign cooks the best? I think it's the Leos, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, I know I'm a little biased, but Leos can cook. I think Anthony Bourdain was a Leo, too. Happy birthday. Somebody just had their birthday. Happy birthday to you. Capricorns. Yeah, Leos are the best. Leos are the best. They don't like us, but you know, when you're the king of the jungle, someone's going to have something to say about you. All right, so we did about five minutes on one side. I'm just going to give this a nice flip right now. Boom, just like that. Can y'all see that? So I seared it on one side, and now I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. I just got a little oil in here too as well, just to soften it up a little bit. Roll that around. So once again, we're just gonna sear this on both sides for about five minutes per side. You want that cast iron about medium high. You wanna set your oven at 425, all right? And we're gonna throw this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of your breast. We went looking for an internal temperature of 165, so make sure you have your thermometer handy. Um, and then obviously it's that simple. So like I said, this is a perfect keto dish. If you just now, if you just now uh, tuned in, how much does that cutlet weigh? It's huge. Actually, I got the package right here. Let me see. That was 1.1 1 .1 pounds so pretty big but you know out here in Texas you already know how the saying goes everything's bigger so that was 1.1 1 .1 pounds I actually when I bought it I thought it was two because it was so thick I was like okay cool I can do two um, I can do two stuffed breasts and so I got all my veggies and everything together because I had to fill up two next thing you know I'm like where's the other one all right so I was like I, I got one big one to deal with so I'll, I'll make it work I'll make it work but yeah, so we're doing a, a cheesy stuffed chicken breast. Right now we're at the searing point. So all I did was take my veggies, which was garlic, spinach, red and green bell peppers. What else I put in there? Red onion, sauteed it, stuffed it right there in the chicken breast and we were good to go. 
I do not have a food truck, but I do host pop-ups where I cook some of my favorite meals. I take over a restaurant. I did one last November in Houston, Texas. It was sold out. I called it chewed and chopped, like screwed and chopped, but chewed and chopped. And it was a great night. I had a great time. It was great to meet a lot of people that follow me on TikTok. And honestly, I'm thinking about doing it again for this November. All right, y'all, so while that's uh, searing, like I said, that oven needs to be on 425. And then you're gonna pop this right in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Depending on the size of your breast, all right? So I'm gonna let that rot, cut that off, put this on. I'm gonna do 12 minutes to have it right there inside. And after 12 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and probe it with my thermometer. I think everyone should have a real deal meat thermometer, kitchen thermometer, just to know what your, your temperatures are. It has a nice graph right here on the back showing what temperature you should cook everything. Thank you, Fox. It ain't good yet. It's about to be good. It's about to be good, Shawty, but for right now, we still cooking. So that poultry right there at the top, I know it's backwards for y'all, but it needs to be between 160, 165 before it's served, okay? So just a good handy thing to know. I'm cleaning up a little bit here. If you have any questions for me, because I'm gonna stay with you through this cook. If you have any questions for me about my seasonings, what I'm cooking, or just overall questions about anything cooking related, let me know. So first question, where can you get it from? You can get all these seasonings right here online at UncleDibs.com. Just hit my name right up there. It'll go to my page and you're right there. That's all you need to do. And then for today only, for you guys watching today, use that code SHIP now for free same day shipping on all of my seasonings. My restock is coming probably next week. People have been really, really, really running through my seasoning. So, you know, I don't wanna be selling stuff I don't have. So look for a restock about like Tuesday or Wednesday for next week. But that code, that code is only good for today. Do I have a salt free or sugar free? Most of my seasons don't have sugars, but this is my main salt free seasoning. It's called BB Salt Free. All right, it's named after my mom. I made it for her after she started having some heart conditions. She went into surgery, had open heart surgery or open, excuse me, open chest surgery, not open heart surgery. And uh, I made this for her. So basically the BB Salt Free, the seasoning I use today on this chicken breast with straight drop rub, BB Salt Free is the same flavor, just no salt, okay? Same seasoning as this, but without the salt. And the cool thing about this seasoning here, BB Salt Free, 20% of each sale of each seasoning goes to the American Heart Association at the end of the month. So you're, you're, you're cooking with, for a cause right here, all right? So this is for you. Do I have a seasoning for crab boys? It's so funny that you, uh, that you asked that, Nelson, because I'm actually making it right now, all right? I'm actually making it right now, so stay tuned. Yes, I do ship out the country. Shout out to all my armed force, forces that uh, buy from me out in Germany, Guam, wherever. So I ship everywhere. Any stuffed shrimp recipes? That's a good idea. I'm definitely going to do that soon. Uh, 1997, I'm going to do that soon. This will go give you guys a rundown. This King Creole blend, if you like Alfredo's, if you like seafood, shrimp, salmon, anything like that. If you love to go to New Orleans and stuff your face, go there from etouffee to red beans and rice whatever this is your go-to seasoning it's called the king creole blend it's available at uncledibs.com use the code ship now for free shipping today meaning it'll go out today the meat thermometer who makes this it's not mine but it's called mr shepherd just got it right off of uh, amazon all right i should probably come out with my own right any surf and turf recipes? Yes, I have plenty of surf and turf recipes and videos. I have a YouTube page that shows all my step-by-step -step instructions, but I also have recipes online at uncledibs.com. Just hit my name right up there or right up there. Go to my site, hit the family recipes button, and it's guaranteed to be up there. Or just search for it and you'll find it, okay? So speaking of surf and turf, what I like for surf and turf is using my Texas steak rub for my steaks, of course, and then my straight drop rub for my seafood. So if you like to surf or turf, that's what you should use. And speaking of this Texas steak rub, it doesn't just go good on steaks. You can do burgers with this. You can do, um, thank you, Kirby. 
Appreciate that. Uh, you can do steaks, you can do turkey burgers, you can do ahi, tuna. Uh, my sister likes to put it in her eggs. So Texas Steak Rub is good to go. I was talking about my Atlanta lemon pepper, hot. I'm originally from Atlanta. You know we like our lemon pepper. So Atlanta lemon pepper, hot, all natural, and mild. All right, shout out to Atlanta United. They actually use this seasoning at the stadium in Atlanta. So for ribs, I'm glad you asked that. So I got my Bustin' Barbecue blends right here, my Bustin' Barbecue rubs. This is the last weekend to get these rubs, y'all. If you like that sweet flavor, go with that Memphis Bustin' Barbecue. You want that sweet and smoky, go with that Carolina Bustin' Barbecue. Or if you just want that straight up Texas style, go for that Texas Bustin' Barbecue rub. This is the last weekend to get this. These rubs have been going great for me. These just go great on ribs, brisket, steaks, chickens, whatever you want. If you like to be on that grill, I suggest you do this. Thank you, Justin Love, appreciate that. I'm located in Houston, Texas, but order at UncleDibs.com today for sh and use the code SHIP now for free shipping today, all right? And it'll get to you ASAP. So these rubs here, last, time to get, last chance to get them is this weekend because I gotta make room for my fall and winter collection. So the Bussin Barbecue Rubs is where it's at. Yep. Sodium friend, uh, low sodium friendly. Carne asada, you gotta go with this. So I like to do a nice skirt steak, outside skirt steak. Put this on it, it's all you need. A little bit of lime juice and you're good to go. Do I have any Italian or Mexican? The closest thing I have to Mexican is gonna be my big chili style, okay? As you see, I use a lot of it. So this right here is also almost out of stock. It, the last chance to get it is this weekend. This right here, I do my quesos with this, regular regular uh, chili as well, it's good to go. How did you get started in making seasonings? Also to use a co-packer. I distribute my own seasonings, that's why I moved out here to Houston from uh, Miami, Florida. Um, I have actually a video, I think it's one of the first or second videos on my page where I give the whole story of how I went from the music industry to the food industry. So check out that video, it's also on my YouTube, all right? Tori, I'm definitely going to check out your seasonings. I've been looking for something natural. Well, this is a great way to start, Tori, because, you know, when it comes to that all-natural flavor, you know how we cook. And you know what I mean by we, all right? You know, you know what I mean by we. So I made the seasonings for us, all right? But anybody can use them. Like this jerk nice spice right here. It's all-natural. It's got actual scotch bonnet pepper in there. So if you know about that Caribbean cuisine, you already know that means it's authentic. So to order the seasonings, just go to the link in my bio. Just hit my uh, icon right up here that's got my face. Go to my page, hit the link in my bio, or just Google Uncle Dibs, and you can go to my site and get these seasonings shipped to you for free today. Use the code SHIPNOW, S-H-I-P-N-O-W, all caps, one word, SHIPNOW, S-H-I-P-N-O-W, all caps, one word, at checkout, and you get free same-day shipping. DC, DC, what's going on, DC? Hey, I love DC. DC is one of my favorite places. I actually like cooking the go-go music a lot of the time. Like I was just cooking last night. I had backyard band playing on the YouTube and go-go music is my thing. I love DC. I love bands. Every time I go to DC, I always got to get some bands. You know what I mean? Shout out to DC. I got to get back up there. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Brianna. I'm glad she loves the seasonings. If she's 93 years old, then I know she knows a thing or two about food. So that means a lot. I thank you so much for supporting. All right. And then also, y'all, I have big variations, big bottles as well. Okay. So for those that really like to cook, yes, I do international shipping. Kayla, I do international shipping too as well. All right. So I got big bottles for those that really, really like to cook. You have that option there too as well. All right, we got about three more minutes on this uh, chicken in the oven, and then I'm going to pull it. I'm going to let y'all see what it looks like, and then I'm going to do the actual taste test right here. We're going to see if it's just all right or if it's good. Shout it. All right, so stay tuned for that. Yes, I do plan on being in stores. I'm actually in a few stores right now, but I'm, I'm definitely looking for national distribution, just dealing with a lot of the politics and everything right now. There's a lot of supply chain issues right now, so I just want to be able to get my product in there and I have to deal with a lot of those disruptions. So it's a process So for right now I'm doing business 
directly directly to you, directly direct to consumer. So just go to my site and you can get my seasonings directly to you, from me, to you, to your house. Go to UncleDibs.com and I can get it going for you, all right? You definitely want to try your chicken seasoning. It looks so yummy. Thank you so much. Um, I have a couple different variants for chicken. I have an actual uh, a Dirty Bird Rub um, that is, is uh, honestly probably one of my best sellers. And speaking of chicken too as well, this is also the last weekend to get my brine. I know some of y'all done seen, some of y'all follow me after I did that uh, fried chicken recipe. A lot of people are like, that's too long for fried chicken. Listen, I didn't say how to make basic fried chicken. I said to make the best fried chicken, all right? So with that being said, you gotta brine your bird, all right? And this right here is the top of the line brine, which I use for my fried chicken. I use it for my turkeys for Thanksgiving. It does the job. All you gotta do is brine it for a little bit and you're good to go. And then for the actual chicken, the seasoning of the dirty bird rub is the best for fried chicken or really any chicken. You can get these all at UncleDibs.com. All natural, y'all, all natural. Use the code SHIP now for free same day shipping, all right? Anybody got, got any questions before I pull this food out, before I pull this cheesy stuffed chicken? If you're on YouTube watching this replay, uh, that code is not going to work for you, but you can still get 10% off your first order uh, when you subscribe to my email list. So if you're watching here live right now on TikTok, you're very, very lucky because you're actually getting a very exclusive code just for y'all. Is there a lot of sodium in my stuff? No, there's not a lot of sodium in my stuff, but there is sodium in there. I mean, salt is part of cooking, but if you're looking for a no salt option, use the BB salt free, okay? BB salt free has absolutely no salt, all flavor, okay? No salt, all flavor. You can get this at UncleDibs.com and 20% of these sales of this seasoning here go to the American Heart Association. I do have, a, I have plenty of variety bundles. My main variety bundle is sold out right now, but it will be back soon. But there's still plenty of other seasons to choose from. The code is SHIP now, S H I P N O W, one word. SHIP now for free same day shipping, meaning it'll go out today. All right, you'll get that confirmation email in your email today. Merch is coming soon, Jonah. I've got aprons coming, shirts, hats, all that. You go through everything, go on, man. You're going to be rich soon. Thank you, Lewis. I appreciate that. You know, it, it's, it's definitely um, more than just about money for me, to be honest with you. But at the same time, it's a blessing that I'm able to do something that I love. Um, like I said before, you know, I was in the music industry, so I definitely was not shy about making money. But at the same time, I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more purposeful and that I could connect with people outside of just, you know, music and whatnot. All right, so y'all just heard my timer went off. Thanks for those questions. I'm gonna pull this right now, just to see where we're at. Oh, we're looking good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use that meat thermometer that I was talking about, and just see what temperature we're at. Okay, so I can already tell we're gonna need a little bit longer time in here, maybe about another five minutes, because we're only about 140 right now, because it is, like I said before, this is a very thick breath, so guess what? We get to talk a little bit more, all right? So I guess since we got a little bit more time, I'm put five minutes on here, because I'm gonna forget. I always forget, even though I'm like, oh, it's just five minutes, I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna get to talking, and I'm gonna forget to uh, pull that chicken. But anyway, somebody asked me earlier, how'd I get started in this? So before I became, you know, doing all my seasons and everything like that, I was in the music industry. I used to DJ, I used to DJ for everybody from, uh, before we get to that. Yes, I do have a great recipe for, for oxtail. It's on my site at UncleDibs.com. You're gonna need this right here. You're gonna need this, jerk knife spice, and my Texas steak rub. You'll be good to go. It's smoked oxtail though, all right? So it's gonna take a little time. All right, but anyway, I used to DJ, produce. I used to work with everybody from Tyrese to Big Crit to uh, Gucci Mane. Uh, I used to live in Atlanta, so that's a you know, big music hub city. And I uh, moved to Miami, Florida, beginning of 2018. I think it was 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019, I moved to Miami, Florida, and um, you know, continued in the game there doing music. But then once that pandemic came, 
you know, everything kind of changed for me. I had to go ahead and switch up stuff, but I always was cooking in between. In between anything I was doing, I was always cooking, always would have cookouts at my house and have people come through and throw down and everything like that. It's just what I love to do. Never really wanted to do a restaurant, never really wanted to do a food truck. I just like, you know, serving people that I love. And uh, once the pandemic came, we were shut down in Miami, had even like a midnight curfew, you couldn't even be outside at night. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try to figure out a way I can do my own seasoning. So the first three seasonings I made were these right here. My Texas steak rub, my Atlanta lemon pepper hot, and the straight drop rub, which I use today on this chicken that I'm doing. So those are my first three seasonings and the reception was great. There was a lot going on in the uh, country at that time, all the George Floyd uh, protest and a lot of just awareness when it came to supporting black businesses and everything like that. So that first about month or so, I was like, wow, this is actually getting a really good response. And so I was just like, all right, well, let me come out with some more flavors and try some new things. And then, you know, TikTok started to get on the rise at that time too. So I just was just doing my recipes that I usually always normally do and just recording them and posting them. I didn't really think much of it. I was really just using TikTok to edit my videos for Instagram at the time. But next thing you know, people were really receptive and they were buying the seasonings. I'm like, okay, I like this. So next thing you know, I kind of outgrew where I was in Miami. I didn't really have a real reason to be there anymore except to go to the beach and work on my tan. A lot of my orders were coming from Texas, Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. And so I just want to be closer to the base that was supporting me. Plus there's a huge culture out here when it comes to barbecuing. It's a huge Creole influence out here too. I know a lot of people just think of Louisiana. New Orleans when it comes to Creole and Cajun cuisine, but there's a lot of people from Louisiana right here in uh, Texas as well. So I wanted to come more knowledgeable when it came to that too as well. And honestly, I'm just in this journey. You know what I mean? I just, I just, I just, and, and I'm on this journey and y'all are with it, on it with me. So when you start to see me in Publix and HEBs and Kroger's and Whole Foods or wherever, you're gonna be like, I remember, and I'm gonna remember y'all. So. I'm paying attention to each and every one of y'all that support me. I appreciate the love so much. You'd be surprised, bro. A lot of us Croatians are not knowledge devoted to seasoning. Listen, I'm not surprised by anything. A lot of people, you know, especially at home, I've learned on TikTok that a lot of people don't do certain things or didn't know how to do certain things. My mama does it like this. My mama don't do it like that, whatever the case may be. So it's very interesting to be on these lives because we're able to connect and learn. I'm, I'm learning from y'all all the time. A lot of, a lot of y'all's techniques, a lot of things y'all do. So I'm here to, to teach, not preach, okay? I'm also here to learn as well. So it's just a whole full, full circle thing. Someone said I should go on Shark Tank. Shark Tank is one of my favorite shows. I love watching it. Um, maybe at some point I will, but at this point in time, you know, I definitely, uh, definitely am, am uh, just enjoying the ride for right now. Thank you, Jilly. I appreciate that, Jilly. I hope you use that code too. Use that code SHIP now, one word, all caps for free shipping today. I'm, I'm going to send it to you today, okay? Since you created your own seasoning, I want to order one. Are you going to create barbecue sauce? J Futuristic, I'm glad you said that because I was actually thinking earlier this week, I was like, I'm thinking about maybe getting into the sauces, okay? Thank you, Jilly. Should I do a hot sauce or a barbecue sauce? If I did a hot sauce, because these are some of my favorite hot, hot sauces right here. I like crystals. See, I would have just kept on talking. I, I would have just kept on talking. Always use a timer, y'all. You never know. I also like this Grace's hot pepper sauce for when I'm doing my Caribbean food. Also, when I'm having my tacos and all that. I love the Valentina. What's your favorite hot sauce? I got some Frank's right here, too. I'm a hot sauce guy. I should make my own, right? Thank you, Lewis. Thank you for the roses, y'all. Thank you for the love. I'm not a big Texas Pete's fan, but you know, if it's on the table, if I'm out eating, I'll rock with it. Crystals, yep. Crystals is definitely a go-to in my house. So, I should do a hot sauce, y'all. If I did a hot sauce, y'all gonna get it. All right, let's check on this chicken.
see where we're at. So anytime you're probing, any type of meat, you want to go in at the thickest part, all right? So you can get that good reading, okay? All right, we're right where we need to be. So naturally, you should let anything that is coming out of a hot oven or a grill, you should let it rest before you bite into it. But listen, y'all, it's 1230 here in Texas and I ain't ate all day. So I'm not hungry, I'm getting hangry. All right? Have I seen the trend about pink sauce? You talking about pink sauce with pasta? Is that what you're talking about, Miss Breen? You're talking about the pink sauce pasta? Because I have seen that. All right, I'm gonna give me a little plate right here. And I don't even need sides with this. The sides are inside of the chicken. So you don't even gotta worry about it, right? So grab this breast right here. Very important that you pull out the toothpicks that we put in there, okay? Just slide out just like that. Y'all getting excited? Y'all ready? This is about to really go down. All right, grab my knife. It's about that time, y'all. About time for that taste test. Slice this open so y'all can see what it's doing. Look at this, y'all. Make a little couple more slices for y'all so I can really see the true essence of this cheesy stuffed chicken breast. So this is perfect if you're doing keto. It's perfect if you're not doing anything at all. It's just a great dish that just kind of upgrades your chicken breast because it can be kind of dry sometimes, all right? So this is the final end product right here, y'all. You can see the chicken stuffing, busting out the seams right there. It's super hot, but I'm super hungry, so I'm not going to wait any longer, y'all. My seasoning salt free. I have one salt free seasoning. It's called BB Salt Free, okay? BB Salt Free. You can get that from UncleDibs.com, y'all, all right? All right, listen, I ain't got no more talking, y'all. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I ain't had breakfast this morning, so I gotta make up time. Grab me a little fork right here. Let me get me a nice little piece like this. Look at that. That cheesiness right there, I gotta wrap it around, it's so cheesy. All right, y'all. Y'all see it right here, right? All right, but first, thank you, Lord, for this food about to receive from the nurse from our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, y'all, let's do it. Super hot, man, I'm about to burn my tongue. All right, y'all, let's do it. That's good, Saudi. Y'all. Y'all grab a piece. Y'all grab a piece. Get you, get you a piece. Here. Use my fork. Y'all. This right here. Bussin'. Alright. Bussin'. Veggies. The chicken. The garlic we put in there. The mozzarella cheese. Listen, bust in, and all I used was this very seasoning right here. Straight drop rub, that's all I used, all right? All I used. One more time, you ain't said nothing but a thing. You ain't gotta tell me twice. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Look y'all, all in one bite, all right? That's good, Sade. Listen, this whole recipe is on my site, UncleDibs.com. 
excuse me for me talking with my mouth full. The seasoning is right here, straight drop rub. You can get it at UncleDibs.com. Use the code SHIP now for free same day shipping. What time is it? I'm gonna give about 15 more minutes on that code and then it'll be done with. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, you can still get 10% off your order, your first order. I'm sorry, but that code is only for people that were watching live on, uh, on TikTok, which is y'all right here. So with all that being said, y'all, thank you all for watching this process. Listen, this is definitely one of my favorite go-to dishes to make. And you can make it too at your house, okay? Got everything you need in there. Veggies, chicken, protein, cheese, and flavor, all right? So make this tonight, make this tomorrow. Get the seasoning and make it when you get the seasoning, all right? If you need some good seasoning candy, go to UncleDibs.com. Hit the link in my bio or just Google Uncle Dibs. You'll be able to find me. And you can get this recipe of this cheesy stuffed chicken breast on my site, UncleDibs.com, all right? Thank you for everybody that ordered. Thank you for everybody that sent roses and likes and things like that. Thank you for everyone that followed. If you're not following me, please go ahead and hit the follow button. All I post is good food. I don't post nothing else, all right? Nothing else. Y'all stay safe this weekend. Stay smart and make sure you eat good, all right? Much love to y'all. Uncle is out.